Welcome back everyone. Uh, in the last video we defined um, uh, materials and we defined sections. In this video we're going to uh, learn how to import materials, especially um, uh, uh, sections that ha uh, that has um, irregular shapes such as aluminium, mullion and um, uh, maybe any user predefined section, any user defined section of any um, given section, we can easily import that in in sub two thousand. Bear in mind that these sections are not available in the uh, default um, uh, uh, template that uh, uh, pre uploaded in sub two thousand. From here, we can see uh, built up sections. We can see this, and here we can see. All these these are the sections that are available here you can see code form sections so um, take for example for this aluminium and mullion we cannot uh, it's not available in uh, sub 2000 how do we do that um, uh, take for uh, we just have to uh, remove all other materials all other lines here in AutoCAD and then uh, uh, convert it into this so I have converted that into two lines, uh, the exterior line and the and the interior and the interior line here. And the interior line I changed the layer as opening because I want the whole of this section, the whole of this section to be open and the exterior line I just oh, uh, use zero as um, um, the layer to define the properties. It's important to be able to define these two properties and I sent that the uh, the material so that I'll be able to uh, so that while, while I'm importing it in AutoCAD in, in sub 2000 is going to import it uh, 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 sent that so that uh, when calculating the rigidity and all that the uh, uh, the center of gravity will be at the midpoint of the of the material so then I'm going to go to export to export the material. So if I click export, it's going to give me a different option: DWF, uh, DWFX, 3D DWF, uh, PDF, uh, D, uh, DGN, other formats. In other formats here, we're not going to. Uh, there are no DSF. But don't worry. So what we're going to do is that we're going to go to uh, file again we go to save as instead of export we go to save as under save as we go to file types here under file types we choose uh, DSF uh, let's choose DSF 2013 uh, I believe is uh, compatible with sub 2000 DSF 2013 we choose DSF 2013 we put the uh, they find them. I put here profiles, so I can type here my section. So I click save, then I'll go to sub two thousand here. I under I could choose it uh, and and any of these. Uh, then under order, then I choose um, section designer. From section designer, I wrote, I'll write the name here my section then here I'm going to choose the material to be a uh, 3x355 and I'm going to choose the university section then I click section designer to open section designer from my section designer then uh, depending on which section if it is simple sections like these you can easily draw them but they are not simple sections it's an irregular shape so i'll go to file import from dsf so i click file import as dsf then i click my section i click open so you cannot open this file of tutorial dsf that's okay I click okay then to import it then i'm going to select opening here dsf layer here opening i'm going to select it as opening uh, for uh, the material here that I'm going to choose for the zero day I'm going to choose it to be the, the material the defined material for that 
section so I'm going to choose x355 then I'm going to use the leave this as polygon polygon and all that um, uh, leave it as polygon and then I click OK so the material is imported here and then I'm going to click done and uh, after done then uh, all this is OK so if you want to uh, change the uh, set the modifiers that you want the areas not to be contributing much or the mass or the weight you can come here to reduce the modification factor and the properties of the section from here you can see the uh, proper cross-sectional area moment inertial uh, uh, moment inertial about two as uh, uh, top uh, top constant and the rest of them they are all here in the uh, properties then we click OK and oh I already have my section before so I'm going to delete this one and then uh, let me check that this is okay I click modify to be sure that this is what I have okay this is what I have no and okay oh, just one minute again okay here and okay so this is about how we can import um, our predefined section or our desired section into sub 2000 from the SF file Thank you.